Hey everybody, welcome back to Crazy Dave's Crew. I'm Laura and you're watching Thursday Threads. On today's Thursday Threads, I want to talk about a one of my tools. I've been getting a lot of questions about it and I want to kind of show you how I use it, what it is, and I will be sure to tell my husband to put a link in the description below. Uh, anytime throughout our videos, we might be putting in some links maybe to some other videos, uh, links to some other product, maybe some Facebook groups that we think you might be interested in. Uh, so don't go away, we'll be right back. And we're gonna talk about my Fiskars Cutter Ruler Combo. All right, so this is a Fiskars Cutter Ruler Combo. Uh, it has a, uh, an attached blade and it does have a safety feature. The blade will retract when you're not pushing it down. I don't know if it's called retraction or if it's just working when you push it. Got a nice slide and I chose the six inch by 24 inch. Um, this was a real game changer for me. And I said, we'll be sure to put a link down there in the bottom. This is just marvelous. But I'm gonna take some fabric that I know I'm gonna be using Coming up with Christmas, and of course, I'm uneven, but this makes it such a nice way of, I've, I've just, I just really like this, this uh, piece of equipment. Um, now, I got it for me. I was finding with the myasthenia gravis, uh, I was experiencing some weakness, and I do use this in conjunction with my Fisker's mat. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of line this up with a line with the 12 inch mark here just so I can have a nice straight edge at the top. Press it down and go across. So now I've got a nice straight edge. Okay. Well, I know I'm going to be wanting some two and a half inch strips for a project um, that's coming up. So, one of the things that I do like about this, let's see if I can show this to you here, are the lines. So, that's a one, your one and a half, your one and three quarters, your two, two and a quarter, two and a half, two and three quarters, three, and so on to six. It's actually six and a half, sorry, six and a half by 24 inches. Okay? All I need to do is match this line with wherever I want my strip to be. Well, I'm wanting this to be two and a half inches. And I am going to match my vertical line with my uh, fold. I, I just think that's a better method, a better measurement, a better starting point than over at the selvage because uh, I just I, I like the fold in of the fold the fold should be straight so I've got it at two and a half and I'm gonna hold it down and I've got my two and a half inch strip and of course you can cut it other ways but how easy is that? Uh, I was saying I bought, I'd gotten this because I was experiencing some weakness in my hands, the, the, my, the gripping of the rotary cutter. It was just really getting difficult for me with uh, the myasthenia gravis. So um, we got one of these and I said it, it was just a real game changer. Uh, I was finding my uh, rulers were slipping, my cutters were slipping I was getting horrible cuts and with this ruler I am doing so much better a lot, lot less wasted fabric I also like so you can see there two and a half inches isn't that great so I can make my own little jelly rolls 
um, I'm able to do more. I am able to be a little bit more accurate. And I can be however I want to be on here because I'm not following this. I'm following this. I'm following my vertical and my horizontal lines. So even if you've got a, a mat that's kind of wacky on the numbering, and some of them can be, but I'm not really following on here. I'm following that's on here. And it's just a real good, nice lines for me to follow. So even my eyes are a little wackadood. Oh, and I just slid it. So let's slide it back, place it. Hold it down. And cut. Okay. Uh, they take your standard blades. So let's take a look at that. They're real easy to change out. It's just got this, this screw right here. And you just take that out and replace it. This is a 45 millimeter. And I know this was still a good one, so I'm going to put that one back in there. And it will collect a little bit of dust. It will collect some fibers, so you do need to... Uh, you know, kind of clean it every now and then. I really like using a soft, cheap paintbrush. Dollar Tree works. You know, uh, my kids, we are always arting and crafting, so I've always got lots of these around. Just make sure they're clean and not going to be painting all over your stuff. Blades. I get some from Amazon, and these are... I honestly don't remember the brand of them, but this is a Japanese steel, 45 millimeter. That's the size I want. And I'm getting 15. I do like these when it comes in the little holder. That way I don't have blades just all over the place. And I can't stand the ones that are just in the, the cardboard package because they end up falling all over the place. And I'm always afraid someone's going to get cut. But real easy. So it stores them and keeps them nice and clean. Uh, you do know there's just a little bit of oil on them. They fit in so nicely, and this is just such a nice way to store your blades. Um, I get these off of Amazon. I was asked by a, a viewer uh, what kind I used. So this is what I use. I am not saying it's the best. I'm not saying it's the worst. I'm saying I have been very satisfied with this one. But... I would like to know from you, what is your preferred blade and why? So just go ahead and tell me down in the comments below what kind of blade you, uh, you like to, replacement blade you like to use and, and why is, is that one your preferred? Um, have you had any experience with other ones that were negative? You know, t tell us a little bit about your experiences with, with blades and cutters. Uh, I think we're all in this together. We're all learning from each other. So, uh, but uh, at no time am I going to say this is the best. A lot of this, of course, is going to be personal preference. I've had no trouble, none whatsoever with these. Um, easy to, to, to get, easy to pick up, easy to, to exchange, and they do a real good job on my fabric. Um, so I'm very satisfied. Now, I am exceptionally satisfied with this. And I think not just for people who are experiencing some uh, muscle uh, fatigue, muscle uh, weakness. I, I think this could be a game changer for anybody. This is just a marvelous, marvelous tool. And I would recommend uh, you take a look at these. And like I said below, you'll find a link for... This 
wonderful piece of equipment. Well, I hope this has answered some questions. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thursday Threads brought to you by Crazy Days Crew.